<laughs> what are the common mistakes that I've seen in sprint reviews? Well, the first one is it's not a review. The purpose of a sprint review is to really look properly at the product you're building, to decide what works and doesn't work for the customers. You know, are we solving the right problem? Are we solving it in the best way we can think of, in an appropriate way? Are we taking into account things that may be slightly bigger picture? And you can't do that by simply showing stuff. You have to have a conversation. So absolutely the most common thing I see is that it's not really a sprint review. It's a demonstration of a working product. That's a good thing, but that's it. So you have teams who turn up, they show what's happening and then they go away. Um, how do you improve that product? If you don't have the conversation that goes with that demo, how do you make sure that you are actually building what the customer wants if you don't hear their feedback? So. The most common one, and it is rife within the industry, is actually you're not running a sprint review. You have a demo meeting that might be called a sprint review. Hmm. Okay. You will also see teams shy away from saying why there's a dis difference between what they thought they could achieve and what they actually achieved. Maybe at the goal level, maybe at the individual items level. Okay. The items aren't as important. If you've achieved the goal, it's a success. Own it, celebrate it. Oh, I'm going to come to that in a second. But talk about it. Okay, take the opportunity to talk with people who have influence in your organization, okay, in, within the system within which, which you work, to say, We are struggling with this. This happened that was beyond our control. Maybe, maybe not. Wouldn't it be great if they could help you, if they could turn around and say, I'll take that on for you? Yeah, that's not acceptable. This is incredibly important to us. So I, whoever they are, I'm going to step up to bat for you and get rid of that problem. They can only do that when they know about it. Now, don't expect them, as smart as they are, to know everything. So tell them this is an issue for us. You know, we've asked that department and we're still chasing, but we're stuck. We thought we would get it in time for this sprint. We didn't. They promised it us by the end of the sprint. We didn't get it. You know, it will probably end up. We don't know. Maybe it goes into the next sprint. Maybe it doesn't. We don't know. Well, one of the stakeholders may know the person who heads that department and is willing to say, do you understand the impact your team is having on our team? Do you have the in understand the impact your team is having on the ability of this organisation to deliver products? Which is often a very important impact to consider. You don't necessarily, either as a coach or a team member, have the ability to go and talk to that person. The stakeholders can, or they can activate their networks to find out how. So taking that in, another one, celebrating success. Okay. The number of, and I will put my hands up, I am the stereotypical Brit. Um, I'm not gonna shout from the rooftops about success of myself or my team, but you need to acknowledge it. You do need to take the opportunity to say, look, we built a thing in a few weeks. We did a thing and it's good. It's well built. It's what you wanted. Say thank you. Okay. As a coach, I make sure I make time to thank the team, thank the product and heck, thank the Scrum Master, as thankless a job as it can be. And I encourage stakeholders to do the same. So when I'm working with them, I'm very often talking to the most senior stakeholder and really one of the smallest tweaks they can say is look just recognize these people have put their heart and soul into working for a thing you want for the last two weeks just say thanks that's really good i'm really happy with where that's going and won't it be great if and you can add feedback and you can ask for more so take the opportunity with your team to just celebrate success the other one, and it is quite a common one, is they don't look to the future. So maybe they talk about what they intended and what they achieved. They celebrate the success. They demonstrate a product. They talk about the feedback on what they've done. But they don't take the opportunity to sit down with the stakeholder and say, this is where we're going next. We think we're going here. Is that a good idea or is it not? And that can be a really important thing in keeping everybody on the same page. Alignment is really hard in a fast moving environment. It's really hard in any organization, if we're honest. This is an opportunity to reinforce that. 
we as a team want to go this way. Are you happy? Does that make sense? Do you know things that are outside of our world that are going to impact us? You could tell us now. And you do get stakeholders who say that's really interesting, but I've, you know, I need that feature. I need that capability on this product before this date. Can you get me it? Whoa, we don't know. But now we know you need it, we can have a conversation and have a think about, can we get there? Is that a realistic thing that you've offered to somebody for whatever reason, good or bad, that you've offered it to them? So with those teams, it's very often about saying, yes, you're doing a great job. Okay, This is a good review. It can be better if you also talk about where we're going. Turn it into also a governance meeting. Give people the opportunity to make sure that as... A system as an organisation, you are spending the money in the right place on the right things at the right time. The product owner's job, they can't do it on their own. They can't know everything. Stakeholders often have key parts of that puzzle. The sprint review is a great place to openly engage them in that conversation. So there's a few things that you see. I said, make sprint reviews sound terrible. They're often really good meetings, but there's always a way to improve. Some of them big and very obvious, more often than not, we're looking to do fine tuning on a team that's doing a great job. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you wanna hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments, I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.